Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy and today's subject is will and would. Uh, the main differences between will and would is that will is used for general future events while would uh, can be used for future events under certain circumstances or conditions. That's one. Another one is that will can't be used in the past tense while would can. Okay. Um, talking about will, will is a noun or a verb. A noun or a verb. You can use it as a noun. So you say, she wrote her will uh, or he had a strong will. So that is as a noun, using will as a noun. Use it as a verb. Okay, she will bake a cake. Uh, he will uh, mold a lawn. That's as a verb. So that's, that's will as a noun and a verb. And uh, we use will for uh, when you like making a request, will you help me? It's an informal word. Uh, if you're refusing something, I won't help you move house today in the present. I won't help you move house tomorrow for the future. Uh, for an offer, making an offer, I will help you move house today. You're offering someone, okay, I will help you move house tomorrow. Okay, here is you making an offer to someone, present and future. So we talked about it in the negative, refusal, and talked about it in the offer, and we talked about it as a request, okay, uh, for conditional, if conditionals, we know the first condition, we use this present simple, and you use uh, uh, an will as an auxiliary verb before uh, the, the, the verb, okay, so if he asks me, present simple, uh, I will help him, yes, I will help him uh, move house, that's uh, uh, conditional, you can also use it for talking about the future, Okay, he will visit London next month. That's it. He will visit London next month. These are the some of the examples when we use will. Now, moving on quickly to would. Uh, would is a modal auxiliary verb. Okay, modal auxiliary verb. So what is a modal auxiliary verb? All that big expression full of syllables. And <laughs> okay, a modal auxiliary verb is a helping verb. Okay, a verb that helps. The, other, the main verb, okay? It's auxiliary that helps the main verb. Uh, it's used to express ability or possibility or permission or obligation, okay, guys? So that is, don't get really, like, be afraid when you read oh, a model or you get worried. No, no, no. It's very simple. Would, okay? We use would to talk about the past, uh, to talk about the future in the past, which is, okay? Uh, uh, that's when we use it for the future, and also to talk about uh, a uh, to be more polite. Uh, now let's take a look at for request. You could say, oh, "Would you help me?" Okay, that's being polite. Okay, you're using uh, to, like to be more polite. So instead of saying, "Will you help me?" say, "Would you help me?" Oh, all right. Yeah, good. I found something here. Okay, degrees of politeness, right? Uh, if you say to someone, help me, that is uh, a request or sometimes, okay, like uh, 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 a cry for help, a request. You're requesting, okay? Help me, okay? Or you could say it uh, uh, if you, in normal circumstances you're just talking, just asking the, the, the person to help you lift something or whatever. Uh, you shouldn't do that, okay? Uh, because uh, it's better to be polite when you ask for something like that. Um, but sometimes, but if you're drowning and you say "help me," you don't have time to be polite. You just want to be rescued now, okay? So. Uh, in normal circumstances, don't say help me. In in serious circumstances, if it's a life and, uh, or death situation, you can say help me, okay? And then you can say, will you help me? That will be an ask, asking. If you ask someone, will you help me? That's asking. Requesting and then asking and then would you help me? That's being polite, okay? Would you help me? You're asking for help. Uh, in a polite way, and then would you help me, please? That's even more polite. You got that, guys? Would you help me, please? Okay. You want to be extra polite? You can say, would you help me, please, please, please? All right. <laughs> okay. 
But remember here, that's the point here I want to talk about. It all depends on the tone, okay, or the intonations or the manner of your voice. If you speak nicely in a good tone uh, to the person, uh, that's how uh, uh, the, he will he will respond. Hopefully, in in a, in, a, in a kind, in the same way. Okay, but if you like, you can say uh, th like you say, "Will you help me?" You could say it in an angry way. Okay, and the person will is not is going to refuse because you're talking to him or you're talking down to him. Or if you say, uh, 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 "Would you help me?" You have to say it in a in a polite in a nice manner. Okay, so it's not only to, to say the word, but also the way you say it that is important. So remember that, guys, please. Okay, uh, the tone or the intonation or the manner of your voice, right? That's would you help me? That's we're talking about request. Uh, moving on to a refusal. If he refused, uh, he wouldn't help me. You're talking about something happened in the past. He wouldn't help me. Okay, so he, he won't help me for the present, and he wouldn't help me for the past. Uh, for an offer, uh, I would have helped you. Um, you're talking about would you put using would in the past, okay? Plus the present perfect, okay? Because you are talking uh, now about the past. You got that? So when you moved house, why didn't you call me? I would have helped you, okay? So you already moved, you already done it, okay? You called the company or something to move house, but uh, why didn't you call me? Okay, uh, so I would have helped you, uh, just to to show that you were willing to help. But the event already passed. Okay, so we're talking about the past because we're using would, and in the same time we with uh, have helped is present perfect. It's a combination here between past and present perfect. Okay. Uh, with, because you're talking about uh, the past. You're talking about uh, moving house in the past, as we said. Okay? That's an offer. Also, conditional. Yes, we use would in uh, if conditional, as you all know. We talked about that before in, a, in a, uh, uh, another video. Uh, we said that uh, conditional two and three, we use would. So if you were having a past simple, all right, if I had money, I would buy a car, very clear, okay? If I had money, I would buy a car, right? Uh, and also for the uh, uh, past, uh, past perfect, yes, had studied, okay? Right? We use in would and have, and then past participle, all right? So if you have past simple, you use would. If you have past perfect, you use would have okay guys that's for conditional so here's another situation you use in wood so we said we use it for we talked about it in uh, request and in refusal and in offer and in conditional all right uh, to talk about future in the past talk about the future in the past uh, example for that Mark promised we would visit London next month, okay? So you're talking now, or someone has uh, promised this in the past, okay? Uh, he, he promised in the past we would visit London next month. Okay? So <laughs> you're talking about something was said in the past about something that will be done in the future. That's it. You got it, guys? Okay? Uh, uh, something said in the past about something will be done in the future that future in the past. Uh, I think that's it really about will and would. All right. Uh, I hope it was clear and I hope you understood it. And I look forward to talking to you in another video. So that's it, girls and guys. I thank you.